Hello everyone. Surprise. You know what happened? Actually, I'm traveling. So I have my two brilliant assistants. Prinzi Jha and Angita Gangli to deal the session with me today. So I am in back screen. They are in front screen. <laughs> okay, guys. So we have our net study plan number 10. I did not want to um, stop even a single day. I did not want to take a break. That's why I'm doing a road show here. <laughs> Everybody here is listening to my net study plan on the road. <laughs> Okay, Prinzi, let us share the screen. They're all waiting for the amazing questions. Ankita and Prinzi, say hello to our friends. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Dear friends, this is Net Study Plan, Day 10. Our topic is African and Caribbean literature. Okay, you know that this is part of post-colonial literature. Very, very important. Um, and it all started in Africa, didn't it, Princey? The first yes. major writer was Chinua Chibe. Yeah. What are his major works? Things fall apart. No oh, sorry, ah. sorry. No longer. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ankita. Arrow of huh, God. So that is the Africa trilogy. Things yes. fall apart. No longer a tease and arrow of God. Yes. yes, or he also wrote a man of the people. But I should not say, tell you everything right now. We have to go into the questions. Okay, yeah. here, question number one. Identify the correct statements. Oral literatures have flourished in Africa for many centuries. I think that's right, isn't it? Modern African literatures resulted from colonial education with models drawn from Europe. Is that correct? Modern African literatures resulted from colonial education. Yes. First, they drew models from Europe. Remember, adopt, adapt, adapt, three phases. Huh. And post-colonial African literature had, of course, been produced outside the institutions of colonialism. Yes. In other institutions, other than colonialism. I think all are true. What do you think, Ankita? Yes, I think all these are true. Yes. Smile, girls. Both of you are looking as if you are at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> YouTubers are thinking, poor Ankita and Princey. Ma'am is usko dand ke lai hai. That's not true. They're enjoying. Yes, Princey, change the slide. Let us see the answer. All are true. It is correct. Yes, you can see the map of Africa also here. Amazing. Okay, Princey, next slide, please. So what do we have here? We have a gentleman here. Who is that? African literature got international attention with Alan Payton. Oh, this is Alan Payton. I see. What did he write? Did he write the story of an African farm? Cry the beloved country, the dark child or none of these? What do you think, Princey, is the answer? Uh, I think I meant Cry the Beloved Country. Yes, it is Cry the Beloved Country. You can change the slide. And, and who wrote the story? Who wrote uh, the story of an African farm? Can I tell? Olive. Shreer. Olive Shreenar. Yes. The story and of an African farm is by Olive Shreenar. Yes. Do you know what that you Alan Patton also wrote Save the Beloved Country? Oh, Cry the Beloved Country and Save the Beloved Country. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And Ankita, who wrote The Dark Child? It's by Camera Lay. The Dark Child yes. is by Camera Lay. That is right. Amazing, amazing. Very good. And uh, anybody, do you remember YouTube Babies? Uh, what is the name of the protagonist? What, 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 what? <laughs> What is the name of the protagonist in Cry the Beloved? I will tell you when to change the slide, okay? Okay, right. ma'am. Uh, yeah. Do you know who, who wrote the, who is the protagonist in Cry the Beloved Country? It's Stephen Kumalo. Yes. Yeah. Stephen Kumalo. Very good. And his son is called? Absalom. 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 Yes. Yeah, Absalom. yes. Absalom killed 
a boy, a man. Jarvis. He killed Jarvis. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Arthur Jarvis. Jarvis. Yeah. It, this is about how colonialism affects the people's mind, isn't it? Very good. Very good. Now you can change the slide, Princey. Okay. It's about a work. I know this person. Do you know, guys? It is? Yes. Fran it's Franz Fanon. Yeah. Yes. This work by Franz Fanon was written just before the death of the author. It defends the right for the colonized people to use violence to struggle for independence. Oh, I know this book. This book he wrote lying on the floor. He was dying of cancer. Wow. And it became his most famous book. Which is the work? You two babies, your turn. Is it Black Skin, White Masks, The Wretched of the Earth, A Dying Colonialism, Toward the African Revolution? YouTubers are going to tell the correct answer now because it's very, very famous and they know it. Yes, dear friends, tell us, Ankita, what is the answer? The answer is the wretched of the earth. That is right. It is the wretched of the earth. Of the, earth. the wretched of the earth. That is right. Uh, Princey, do you know anything about wretched of the earth? Uh, so, yes, ma'am. This was published in 1961. And the first section of this book is titled On Violence. And yeah, the foreword, which came later in 2004, was written by Humi Bhava. So we all know that preface was written by Saad, but the foreword that came in 2004 was written by Bhava. Amazing. And who wrote the introduction, girls? The introduction to Wretched of the Earth? The introduction was written by Jean-Paul Sartre. Yes, it yes. is right. It was written by Jean-Paul Jean Sartre. Sartre. Very good, very good. Okay, let's move on, Ankita. Identify the correct statement. Apartheid is wrong. It is written on the placard. See, apartheid is a rigid policy of segregation practiced by the white population in South Africa. Is it correct? Segregation practiced by white population, correct? Negritude is a literary and ideological movement developed by black intellectuals. Correct? Hai, kya? Yes, yes. They are black intellectuals in France. Correct? Hai? No longer at ease by Chinu Achibi is the story of Okonkwo's grandson, Obi Okonkwo. Everybody knows that Okonkwo uh, is the protagonist of Things Fall Apart. And Obi Okonkwo is in No Longer at Ease. Is it correct, everybody? YouTubers? Yes, yes. So, tell me, uh, Ankita, what do you say? Is it all, all are true? Yes, all these statements are true. Okay, let's print, check the answer, Princey. That, that is right. All are yes. true. Uh, in YouTube also, Kartika, Aishwarya, all are saying, Anna Kamachi, all are saying all are true. Shrabani, of course, will say it. She is smart. Everyone is smart. Very good. No, 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 uh, Manish. Third one is not wrong. No longer it is, is about Obi Okongo's grandson. He gets British education. He secures a position in Nigerian civil service. And you know what he does? He takes a bribe and gets arrested. That is the story of No Longer It Is, the second book of Africa trilogy. The third book of Africa trilogy is Arrow of God. Arrow of God. Okay, let us change the slide. Yes. Identify the wrongly matched pair. Do you know this, Princey? The Cairo trilogy. Is it by Najib Mahfouz? Yes, ma'am. Face to face. Is it by Nadine Gaudimar? Yes, ma'am. Ankita? Yeah. Yes. Season of uh, Migration. Face to face. North. Yeah. Season of Migration to the North. Is it by yes. Tayyip Sali? Yes, yes ma'am. That is also very famous, isn't it? Somalian yes. writer. Is Efuru by Buchi Amacheta girls? No. no YouTube uh, babies, what do you say? Is it wrong? Okay, let us see the answer. Who is it by Efuru? Efuru is, is by a, a woman, not Buchi Amacheta, but Flora Nwapa. Flora Nwapa. Revi has said the correct answer. Maumita has also said the correct answer. Ah, L.A. has also said, very good, very good. Uh, Efuru is a book 
in praise of motherhood against which buchiya macheta wrote the joys of motherhood ha <laughs> what is the story of joys of motherhood there is a woman who becomes a mother she gives birth to so many children suffers so much and after she dies what happens when she after she dies what she becomes a goddess uh, and okay. when and when people pray to her please give us a blessing of children she refuses to give that blessing nobody <laughs> should have any more children <laughs> that is what she thinks that is buchiya macheta's joys of motherhood are you loving this guys is it like uh, is it interesting okay princey next slide please you two babies princey and ankita look like twins right <laughs> we were laughing to see both of them wearing the same dress same hairstyle oh this question is about bole soinga look at him which work among the following condemns african superstition by showing religious leaders who exploit the fears of their towns people for personal gain you know what uh, you know what this uh, um bole soinga always talked about uh, african can superstition and religion etc negatively that is vole so inka did he do this in swamp dwellers or lion and the jewel or a dance of the forest or the strong breed do you know the answer do you know the answer yes Please tell uh, us the answer you two babies okay. are saying a b c d it is the swamp dwellers they are saying swamp dwellers Is it the swamp dwellers? Is it okay? Show the slide. Next slide. Let us see. Oh, that is right. It is the swamp dwellers. He is against African superstition. Okay, next slide, please. Ma'am, can I ask a question before that? Oh sure, oh sure. Addition. Before the next slide, you can ask a question. Yeah. So, because the answer is the swamp dwellers, I want to ask who wrote the swamp. It is a poetry collection. Oh, I don't know who wrote the swamp, the poetry collection. It is Derek who Walcott. Has... Oh, Derek Walcott, the Caribbean writer, Derek Walcott. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, next question: Song of a Goat. a play dramatizing a family tragedy is it by john pepper clark andre brink bole soinka or none of these song of a goat it's a play tell me you two babies do you know ankita your turn yes uh, the answer is john pepper clark j P. Clark, very good. Dan George has also said the correct answer as usual. Proud of you, Ravi. Kya hai Ravi? Ah, oh, others are also saying very good, very good. That is right. Three plays are there. Look, Song of a Goat, The Masquerade, The Raft. Very good. Okay, next question. Oh, Song of a Goat came in the same year as Rachid of the Earth. Makaya Maseko, a South African Zulu, is a character in Dash. I know the author. It is Bessie Head. She wrote When Rain Clouds Gather. Maru, oh, mat maro. No one has said that. Maru or A Question of Power. <laughs> These are a uh, former trilogy. No, not a trilogy, right? She yeah. was a South African writer who went and lived in... Uh, another place do you remember the place she was from botswana right and all her plays Correct. are used in cairo yeah she is from yeah. south africa she went and lived in botswana isn't botswana. it like that uh -huh. i think like that yeah yes makaya maseko where is she from maumita is saying it is maru sunanda also saying maru but shrabani is saying when rain clouds gather what do you think princey Ma'am, it's the when the rain clouds gather. Yes, when the rain clouds gather is the answer. Okay, those who didn't get it, no problem. You can remember now. Okay, next question, dear friends. This work was written by its writer 
on prison issued toilet paper oh he was in prison uh, which work is this i will marry when i want haha <laughs> for writing this he did go to prison do you remember this devil on the cross the black hermit weep not child and who is the author ankita the author is gyugi wa thyongo ha ah, very good it is in gyugi wa thyongo mm -hmm. ye bolo prince what is the answer Yes, Devil on the Cross. Please show us the answer. देखो बुक भी है यहाँ Devil on the Cross. Yes, very good. Okay, next question. Identify the correct statement. J M Kutse was the second South African after Nadine Godima. to receive the nobel prize in literature all right uh, is it correct or wrong second south african after nadine godim i think it's correct what do you think ankita yes, yes. it's both correct yes it's true yes yeah. both black girls are nodding <laughs> black t-shirt <laughs> girls <laughs> could say was the first writer to be awarded the booker prize twice first for life and times of michael k then for disgrace ravi and shrabani are saying both all are true four by kutse is woven around the existing plot of robinson crusoe yes youtubers all of them are saying the correct answer prince show us the slide here ma'am very good prince or ankita do you know what is the name of the woman character female character in four yes it's susan barton Yes, it is Susan Barton. Very good, Prince or Ankita. Do you know other novels by Jam Kutse? Uh, Disgrace, uh, Life and Times of Michael K. Four. Then uh, uh, first novel, uh, Dustlands. Ha, uh, huh, Dustlands. Yes. Trilogy? What is the trilogy that he wrote? Dustland is the trilogy because it has three novels. No, no, no. G Jesus trilogy, Jesus trilogy, Achha. Jesus oh, trilogy. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Jesus trilogy. Okay, uh, Princey, next question, please. Tell us the next question. Uma Bata is an adaptation of Macbeth into the tribal Zulu culture of early nineteenth century. Tell us, Princey, is it by Ken Saro Viva Ama Ata Aidu? Welcome, Somi, or none of these. Uma Bata, oh, adaptation of Macbeth. I think it's yeah. my welcome. Welcome, Somi. Correct. I have included it in our PDF also. Welcome, Somi. Did you know, guys? It is prescribed in some universities. Remember that, okay? You can see welcome, Somi, on the screen here. Uma Bata. Okay. Very good. Next, please. Welcome, Somi's. Ah, uh, Uma Bata is prescribed in university. So remember, okay. This is a poignant story of a resourceful Nigerian woman. Actually, it is autobiographical. She overcomes strict tribal domination of women and countless setbacks to achieve an independent life for herself and her children. Which novel is this? All the books given here are by who is the author, Ankita? Buchi Amacheta. Yes, Buchi Amacheta. Tell me, which of these novels is her autobiographical novel? Is it uh, uh, about? Is it a uh, Gwendolyn, Kahinde, Second Class Citizen, or the New Tribe? Do you know, Ankita? The answer is the answer is Second Class Citizen, and the story is about the woman Ada. Ada, you you two babies are also saying the answer. Let us check the answer, Princey. Yeah, ma'am. Very good, very good. You are all amazing. Okay, next question. Next question, please. Identify the correctly matched pair. Variations on the themes of an African dictatorship trilogy. Is it by the Egyptian writer Nuruddin Farah? Flowers and shadows. Is it by Ben Okri? Nervous conditions. Is it by the Zimbabwean writer Sitsi Dangaramga? 
What do you think, Princey? Ma'am, I think all of these are true. Is it? Let us see the slide then. Tadang, Princey said the correct answer. Nervous conditions is by Sitsi Dangaramga. You can see the picture here. Ankita, do you know any other Zimbabwean writer or do you know a book set in Zimbabwe? Tough question, eh? Uh, Ankita is thinking. You rarely see Ankita thinking, guys. You can look at her now. I know. Oh, I remember the Ghanaian huh. writer, but I can't remember Zimbabwe. Eh, no Violet Bulawayo. Ah, no Violet ah. Bulawayo, right. Yes. Correct. And the book uh, set in Zimbabwe or Rhodesia is The Grass is Singing. Ha, the ha, by Doris Lessing. The Grass is Singing by Doris Correct. Lessing. Correct. Yes. Next question, please, girls. This is an exquisite novel about the emotional turmoil of adolescence, the powerful bonds of family, and the bright promise of freedom. 15 year old Kambili and her older brother. Jaja, Jaya, uh, our characters here. Which is this work? Kambli. Shrabani, yes. Dan George has said the answer. It is, what do you think, Ankita? It's Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Gozi Adichie. Yeah. It Mama was her debut Adichie. novel. Uh, yeah. Yes, Prince, tell us about it. It was a debut novel which was published in 2003. All right. And Half of a Yellow Sun is about what, Princey? Biafran War. Correct. The Biafran War or the Nigerian Civil War. We should all be feminists is what, Princey? It is a TEDx talk map by Chima Mandel. Correct. That is also correct. Great going. Princey, no wonder you have got the JRF. You have remembered everything. I'm proud of you. Ankita, you too. You are amazing, girls. Show us the next question, please. So this was the answer. Oh, now, this is the answer. Yeah. Yeah. The story of the Black American younger family. There is no elder family, girls. There is only younger family, one family only, <laughs> living under racial segregation in sh Chicago. In which book do you find the younger family? Is it Go Tell It on the Mountain, White Man Listen, Black Boy, or A Raisin in the Sun? Bolo, bolo. Yes, yes, YouTubers, you are saying correct answers. Tell me, Ankita, they're all saying different yes. answers. You tell the me. The answer is A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansbury. Correct. Nipa, Momita, Shrabani. Good, 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 good. Very good, very good. good. Aishwarya, Ravi, good. And Ananya, A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansbury. Younger family, they're all waiting for what, Prince? Do you remember? They are waiting for a check which the mother is going to get. Yes, because it's an insurance check uh, based yeah. on their father's insurance. They, he has died. And everybody wants to use it in a different way. And finally, at the end of the play, it was a path-breaking play. It, be, it's, it showed something very revolutionary. What is it, Ankita? I don't remember the ending. <laughs> it shows... No problem, no problem. I have never asked questions to anybody in any cause and said... Uh, you, you know it's wrong you should try again again oh, it's okay mm -hmm. but if you don't try that is wrong but you're trying so I'm happy now the path breaking play what did it show it they showed a black, black family moving into a white neighborhood is that what you were going to say Princey yes ma'am they imposed their identity that yeah, yeah. So that they it. went and lived in a white neighborhood very good very good Next, please. Yeah, the son lost the money, Shivangi. Correct. This semi-autobiographical novel centers on Lucy, who has come from the West Indies to the United States to live as a helper or au pair for a wealthy white family. Who wrote this novel, Lucy? 
Bolo, Carol Phillips, Jamaica Kincaid, Patrick White, or none of these? Ankita? It's Jamaica Kincaid. Yes, Jamaica Kincaid. Anybody remembers other novels by Jamaica Kincaid? Annie John. Annie autobiography John. Autobiography of my mother. Autobiography of my ah, mother. The autobiography of my mother. Very good. How can you write the autobiography of your mother? Ankita, do you remember who wrote the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas? Gertrude Stein. Wonderful. It is Gertrude Stein. Very good. Next, please. Can you show the next slide, Prinzi? Yes, ma'am. Great. Her, yes. Her short story collection, Summer Lightning. Ankita, have you heard of this? It won the Commonwealth Writers' yes. Prize. Who is she? Is it Flora Nuapa, Bucci Macheta, Alice Walker, or Olive Senior? Ankita? It's Olive Senior. Yes. And Ankita, what did Olive Shreena write? The story of the great African farm. The, the story of an African farm. Correct. The story of an African farm. Okay, Prinzi, next question. Uh, let us show the, uh, see the answer first. Olive Senior. Very good. Look at that picture. Okay, next slide, please. Set on an unnamed Remote Caribbean island. The main characters are Jane, a Londoner, and Roch. Are this refers to Jane and Rochester in Jane Eyre. Which novel is this? And you know what, girls? They are going to live in Thrush Cross Grange, which is from Wuthering Heights. Are it is an intertextual post-colonial Gothic novel. You two babies, do you know the answer? Is it Gorillas, a bend in the river, the enigma of arrival? Princey. Yes, ma'am. It's. I think it's option I A, gorillas. Option A, gorillas. What do you think, Ankita? Yes, it's gorillas. And Ankita, you have to tell us the other works of. V. S. Naipaul. Who is this author? V. S. Naipaul. Ah, hmm. V. S. Naipaul. His other what works other are the works? Uh, the Mystic Monsieur, the Mimic Men. Uh -huh. yes. The Mystic Monsieur, the Mimic Man. Then he also wrote this Miguel trilogy Street. on India. House of House of Mr. Biswas. A house for Mr. Biswas, yes. India trilogy. India trilogy. An area of darkness. Correct. An area of darkness. India, a million. India, India a wounded civilization. civilization. And, and India, India, a million, a million mutinies now. now. Huh. Very good. Very good. Are answer to the cow. Pera. Yay! Gorillas is correct. Next slide, please, Princey. This work, is this Volek Swenka's brother or what? <laughs> Both of them same white hair. <laughs> this work traces the story of the narrator G. I know this G. His name is George. And this G from his ninth birthday till the time he's 17. Identify the work. Is it in the castle of my skin? Water with berries? The pleasures of exile? You two babies. If you don't say the correct answer quickly. Oh, everybody is saying the correct answer. It is indeed in the castle of my skin. Very good. Very good. Ankita, do you know water with berries is based on? On what? Huh, the Tempest. Ta -da -dang, that is correct. Okay, next question, Prince, please. The Lonely Londoners is a 1956 novel by the Trinidadian author. Is it Ian Martel? He is not Trinidadian. Sam Selvan, Sham Selvadure, Mordecai Richler. Do you know the answer, Prince? Ma'am, it's Sam Selvan. Sam Selvan, he also wrote Brighter Sun, right? Yes. 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 Show the slide and the slides. Very good. Mridula Ajay Kumar, you're saying the correct answer. Caliban and Prospero is the theme in 
Caliban syndrome and Prospero syndrome. Very good. In water with berries. And here we have Sam Selvan. Lonely Londoners. Hey girls, Mosses Alota is a character in uh, Sam Selvan's works, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Character. yes. Is ascending. It is part of Mosses trilogy, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Excellent. Next, next slide, please. YouTubers, if you're loving the session, please like the video. Which work among the following is not a part of Guyana Quartet of Wilson Harris? Is it Palace of the Peacock, The Far Journey of Odin, The Whole Armor, The Ghost of Memory? Ayo! Which of these is not part of Guyana Quartet? Do you know? I don't know this. Princey is nodding. So tell us. I think the answer is the ghost of memory. Okay, one more novel is there in Guyana Quartet then. Which is that one, Ankita? The Secret Ladder. Yes, very good. The Secret Ladder. The Secret Ladder and Palace of the Peacock are both prescribed sometimes in universities. You yes. know what? I studied Secret Ladder. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote in a very, very poetic prose. Beautiful poetic prose. Yes, that is correct. Look at him reading the book, Wilson Harris. Next slide, please. Set in the east end of London. East end is what? The very poor part of London. Poor area of London. This novel is based on the personal experiences of the author accepting a teaching post in a secondary school. I know one Hindi movie like this. This teacher is reforming all the children. Old Hindi movie, before you were born. Do you know? Do Aankhe Bara Haat. Do Aankhe Bara Haat, where uh, one teacher, that is Do Aankhe, he is reforming six criminals. <laughs> so which is this novel? Everybody, do you know? Yes. Anitesh has said the correct answer. It is To Sir With Love by... Who's the author? By E.R. Brathwaite. E.R. Brathwaite. This is not E.K. Brathwaite. That is a different man. This is E.R. Brathwaite. Okay, next question. In a Green Night. Oh, 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 oh. Was the first poetic collection of Cyril Dabardine, Derek Walcott, Lorna Goodison. Ankita, you have to tell us. You are the bright girl who knows everything. <laughs> uh, I'm sure this is a Derek Walcott. In a green night. Is it Derek Walcott, Princey? Yes, Show us. Derek Walcott, yeah. Yes, ma'am, it's Derek Walcott. Ta -da -da, in a green night. Okay, next. Next slide. Derek Walcott is the author of Far Cry from Africa, C is history. Okay, this is a novel. This novel recreates the story of Bertha Mason, the Jamaican mad wife of Rochester in Jane Eyre. Everybody knows. YouTubers, everyone. Is it Amy Cesar? No. Is it Jean Rice? Yes. Share the correct answer, Princey. Everybody knows this one. Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rice. Antoinette Cosway, isn't it, Ankita? Yes, Antoinette Cosway. Antoinette Cosway, Antoinette Cosway. yes. Correct. Next slide, please, Pinzi. Banana Bottom by Claude McKay tells the story of a girl called Tabita or Bita. And where is it set? Is it Ghana, Jamaica, Kenya or Cuba? Bolo. Ankita, your turn. It's Jamaica. J Jamaica. Jamaica. Very good. Jamaica is correct. Oh, Pratik is telling us the ruin of a great house also. Uh, Derek Walcott wrote. Thank Derek. you for reminding us, Pratik. That's a very important book. Ruins of a great house. Yes, yes, yes. Jamaica is correct. Not Cuba. It is Jamaica. Okay. Is there another question? No. no, this is the last question. You can stop sharing so that they can see you all. Okay, uh, my de dear Ankita and Princey, you did well. You answered a lot. 
you helped everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are Good the. Day. You, they are the strongest support for me and uh, I am uh, of retiring mode now because all my young, uh, you know, fiery, you know, you know, the assistants who are now growing into amazing teachers, they are doing a great job. I am old and super animated and <laughs> so I am so glad that we did this together, everybody. Now, please like the video, share with your friends and join us tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Shall we end the session? Yes. Bye-bye, yeah. everyone. Bye. Bye.